And now some sad news about a colleague of ours, Paul Lynham, one of Australia's most distinguished journalists and commentators, today lost his battle with cancer at the age of 55. Lynham's award-winning career spanned four decades. Newspaper man, foreign correspondent, author, and more recently, federal political correspondent for this program and 60 Minutes. But as Laurie Oakes reports, there was much more to Paul Lynham, not least his unique interviewing skills and a dry wit. Paul Lynham's last television appearance was on April 16 on 60 Minutes. Have you ever found yourself in a situation that felt like it was straight out of a movie? Reporting with characteristic courage and humour his own illness. For example, the one where the very serious doctor says to the patient, I'm sorry to tell you, but that shadow on your x-ray is cancer and you're now fighting for your life. Paul lost that fight at four o'clock this afternoon in a Canberra private hospital. I was really sorry to hear about Paul's death. He was a great journalist. He was witty, intelligent and always very fair. The sentiment was bipartisan. Opposition leader Kim Beasley called him distinguished, a high caliber investigative and political journalist who became a household name. But he was an entertainer too, had been since he led a rock band, The Bitter Lemons, at university. Paul joined the ABC in 1969 and spent the first half of the 70s as a London-based foreign correspondent. And of those children, eight out of 10 are at a standard below average. Then came five years at Four Corners, where one of his documentaries won a Logie. But Canberra was where he belonged. With the ABC and then with the Nine Network, he carved out a reputation as a shrewd political reporter and commentator and a tough, incisive interviewer. Is this all fair, Dinkum, or are you just politicking to try to head off a backbench revolt? Paul's most controversial story in recent years incurred the wrath of a former Prime Minister. But his trademark was humour, to make politics just a little less dry. The simpler tax system already weighs over five kilos and stands about 20 centimetres high. Paul will be missed by his wife Dorothy and children Chloe, Joel and Matthew, and by his colleagues. Laurie Oakes for Nightline.